What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. And if you like Mustang related content, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. So we are out here in the garage and it is kind of the middle of winter, unfortunately, but that's not gonna stop me from trying to get ready for the 2023 season. Now, performance wise, my 04 Cobra is in a pretty good place. I'm happy with the power level that it makes. And if you want, check out the dyno video that I had a couple of months ago. I'll put a card up right there. So I wanted to kind of, I don't know, change the look under hood. So I got a couple of things here on the table behind me. While I do want to make it kind of look a little bit different, I don't want to deviate too far from the stock look. So I'm not going to go totally nuts, but I got a couple of cool things. And the first of which I want to show you in this box right here. So this part right here is probably going to be the biggest as far as visual appeal goes. And what we have here from... Harpel Autofab, and I'll put a link in the description to his Instagram and his, uh, his website, is a super high quality radiator cover. And I gotta give a shout out to him on the packing of this. And it is super, super nice. You can see it right there. It is beautiful. Now this is made of laser cut aluminum. Black textured powder coat, really nice texture. The only requirement is that you don't have a, the stock prop rod, and since I have the MRT hood struts, which uh, I have an install video here on the channel, I'll probably put a card up in the corner, I am absolutely able to use them. So what we're gonna do next is gonna put this on the Terminator. So let's pop the hood and get started. So let's see what we're starting with. There you go, as I said, a relatively stock looking Terminator and stock for the most part. We're gonna place this OEM ready to cover with that one. And I'm kind of bummed I'm gonna lose this, um, this SVT plaque that I got from SVT store, but I'm, I'm sure it'll, it, this new look will be just really, really nice. So anyway, the only tool you're gonna need is a Phillips head screwdriver, a good Phillips head. And you have these plastic retainers that go here, here, here and here. So there are four of them all together. Like I said, you do need to have your prop rod deleted. So we're gonna go ahead and pull those screws out. Some of them can be a pain. So just to let you see what you're dealing with here, it's this, this threads out. And once that's out, these can just be popped right out of the plastic. So once all four fasteners have been removed, you can simply pull off the factory radiator cover. It's also a good time to wipe everything down because you'll probably never see this again. So now we will lower down the Harpel Autofab radiator cover. And it is notched in the back for the intercooler reservoir and the radiator reservoir. There you go. And you can see it fits really nicely around the uh, hood latch area. Nothing is uh, blocked. Now, it uses the factory holes. I'm sure you could reuse your, fa your factory fasteners. However, Harpel does give you some two brand new ones. So we'll just go ahead and use the new ones. I think that looks really cool. The white looks really nice. The black and the white kind of complements the rest of the engine. And then just Thread this one down, thread this one down, and that's it. You can see from the back here, it did a really nice job going around the intercooler tank and going around the engine coolant tank. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked the way it looks. So there you go, the install of a radiator cover on a Terminator Mustang, or any New Age Mustang for that matter. They have all different styles, all different colors, and all different sayings on top. I like the Terminator, it kind of obviously matches the car, but they make them for pretty much any New Age Mustang. They also have those really cool coolant and intercooler tanks that are all in one. He just, just some incredible, incredible uh, craftsmanship on them. So I, again, I will leave a link down in the description for these products where you can get on his website or on Instagram. So I thank you very much for watching. And if if you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, or better yet, make sure you subscribe to get all the latest content here on the channel. I'm going to get back out to the car, maybe take it for a quick ride, and uh, hope you have a great day out there. Thanks for watching. I'll see you.